welcome back to another vlog. <laughs> so today we are in Calcutta. Welcome to Kolkata. <laughs> this city is so busy. There are people walking around everywhere. There's so much noise. There's so much traffic. We didn't vlog anything for the first two days here, thinking we'll just settle down and get used to all this hustle and bustle. And now today we are out exploring the city of Kolkata, and we'll take you along with us. Now our first stop is the Victoria Memorial. Let's go. So the Victoria Memorial is actually the most popular and most iconic uh, place in uh, Calcutta. In fact, a lot of silhouettes of Calcutta are depicted by this uh, monument. So this monument is over 100 years old. It was built for over 20 years from 1906 and it was built in honor of Queen Victoria who was the Empress of India just before that. So Queen Victoria had had touched a lot of people's lives. So even the Indians were very keen to contribute to the construction of this particular monument. The monument itself is very interesting architecture wise. There's a lot of influence in the architectural style coming from so many different places. You can see some from Europe, some from Egypt, some from the Mughal uh, dynasty, some from the Deccan uh, mo monarchies that were there. So it's a very interesting mix of everything and it's completely uh, made of marble on the outside and even the inside the layout is mostly featured with marble. So it's got two levels. The lower level is uh, a very high ceiling uh, museum 
and the upper level is an AC uh, floor which basically houses the entire tour of the freedom movement in India. The lower floor uh, honors Netaji Subhash Chandra Bose who himself was a great freedom fighter and a very important Bengali icon in the revolution. The dome of the Victoria Memorial also is very interesting. It's got a very beautiful paintings circling all around the dome. The museum itself is situated in the middle of a large garden. The garden itself is 64 acres big and there's very beautiful ponds. Uh, there are four different ponds, one in each direction and there's a lot of greenery everywhere. It's very well maintained by the ministry and it's just very peaceful to be here. The tickets to this place cost around 30 rupees including a visit to the gardens as well as the museum and you can spend as long as you want but uh, we spent about an hour or so exploring the place and it was definitely worth it. St. Paul's Cathedral was built in 1847, so it's really old. It's a very beautiful church. We went inside. Unfortunately, we couldn't photograph or videograph inside. It was so calm and peaceful. We stayed there for almost an hour and I think at the end both of us just slept off in our seat. The church looks so beautiful. There are these glass paintings on the windows. It looked really nice. They had these uh, thick wooden chairs for everybody to sit on. It looked very old and very nice. What is this? What is this? Flower. Why? Okay. There you go. Bye.